Hey guys, uh, we just got back from Hardcore Henry, which is essentially the video game movie. <laughs> it's a video game movie and it's shot in uh, first person. That's what I would call it. It's the first person shooter movie. It was. So, uh, what did you guys think? It was great. I liked it. You liked it? I liked it. I thought it was a good, fun movie to, mm -hmm. to watch. It was one of those movies that you're like, let's get drunk and watch Hardcore Henry sometime, or let's uh -huh. go to the movies, we're bored, let's go get watch Hardcore. I liked it. Okay, what did you think, Joe? I agree. I took it as for what it was. I kind of thought it was like kind of a little cheesy movie, kind of yeah. like uh, Kung Fury. A little over was, the top. It was over yeah. the top. But it was still a lot of fun. I I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I did get a little vibe of you know the extraordinary because it is a almost a sci-fi uh, yeah, action yeah. film. I got a little bit of the uh, sort of um, like kung fu hustle vibe a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that kind of stuff. But wow, I am really fucking impressed by Hardcore Henry, guys. Honestly. It, I was very skeptical going into this movie. I thought it was going to make me motion sick. I, I, without a lead character, uh, a famous actor to carry the film, I'm like, hmm, maybe this is just some side project of somebody I managed to get put up on, uh, on from the movies. But I gotta say, the film won me the hell over. I just had a fucking huge smile on my face <laughs> yeah. the whole fucking time. This film, the best way to put it is it's got such boyish fucking action glee. You know, from when you're a little boy and you're just running around kicking stuff, kicking <laughs> pillows in your house and playing toy guns and stuff and, and, and jumping over your couch and just shit like that Stupid and shit, yeah. sliding across the ground and shooting people. This movie really fucking impressed me. So... Uh, and and it, t it took a little while because uh, uh, when the when the movie opens and and Henry gets going, I, I started feeling yeah I, I don't want to watch the screen at first because there is shaky cam. Yeah. You, I was gonna I was gonna come over here and call the movie shaky cam the movie right, but that's the first thirty minutes I think yeah. the first twenty minutes and then. After a while, either you get used to it or they start to do different techniques to where it's not quite as bad as, as, uh, as what you think it might be. Yeah. So if you're worried about motion sickness, don't be. Yes, you gotta push yourself through the, the learning curve, so to speak, of this different perspective because we've never seen this before. But the payoff is amazing. It is it, immense. It was great. It, it essentially feels like one, consecutive fucking shot and i've seen critics and people like praise movies where there's two minutes of consecutive filming yeah. i think it was uh you know terminator salvation or something that had one consecutive shot in some other movie well fuck all those movies this movie just blew it the fuck out of the water the whole movie is just no nah. Of like course, they use nonstop. they use clever editing tricks when the camera's moving fast to yeah. uh, to cut to different segments. But this thing kept ramping up. So basically, uh, hardcore Henry video game movie. Uh, Henry himself wakes up. He's sort of a, a cyborg robot who has uh, been damn near killed, but saved and turned into uh, a fighting machine. Yeah. Uh, one of Possibly many as as uh, this uh, basically the villain of the film, this albino guy uh, with with powers of his own. Because hard, hardcore Henry isn't simply parkour and gunplay no. action; he is uh, essentially a little bit of a superhero himself. Um, and his motivation is, uh, as he wakes up, he sees his wife there, uh, you know, sort of uh, nursing him back to health and uh, getting the story ready. So um, how did you feel about the characters in the film? Did you feel that the characters had enough time to develop? And who was your favorite character? I thought the characters were there to give reason to the, like, the nonstop crazy violence. Nonstop action. I feel like the whole point of them wasn't to create like this massive complex story. But uh, yeah. there's the girl. Go rescue the girl. Kill the shit out of bad guys. Yeah, and you know this it's, is it's it was, literally it was a video game. It was movie. a video game. It was. Uh, and I thought they were. So they were just there to serve the purpose. They were there the and they did their purpose well. And I mean, he had an ancillary character that followed him around. And I thought the person, the, you know, Jimmy is the, the quest giver was amazing. Jimmy, Jimmy's Jimmy is the best. I love this South African actor. I can't pronounce his <laughs> name, but uh, he's he's fantastic. Carton Car Copley. Good, good, good Close. attempt. Close. Good, good attempt. attempt. Did you like him Carton. in the film? 
Yes. <laughs> All the crazy. He played a lot of characters. Yeah, and, and you'll understand why. At the, we don't want to spoil anything for you, but you'll understand why. Uh, basically, he gets to... Um, He's got a wide range of acting abilities. <laughs> he does. And yeah. all the various character that this guy plays a is hilarious. Comic, comic relief. Yes, com- comic, comic relief. relief. Fantastic comic relief. Uh, and, and like Dale was saying, most of the characters don't ha- really have all that much depth to them. There's, no. They don't go through huge character arcs or anything like that, except for maybe Henry himself. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think that it, it doesn't matter because, like, as they were saying, this is just a fun action romp and just really technically impressive was, what yeah. they've done with the camera this whole thing was filmed on a on a gopro hero 3 yeah, with a special rigging system mask where they use the the camera there were it wasn't just one henry there was multiple there were like seven henry's, seven in, the henry's they had, in the end they had like this huge list of people and it was Henry's, and it was just like seven or eight Henry's. And then like stunt the men. There were like 50 stunt oh, men and 20 stunt great. drivers. It was insane. Just, just when you think the film couldn't get more uh, uh, over-the-top action, it keeps ramping it up. And, and you know, a lot of those films, uh, you know, have they're leading to a finale, and the finale falls flat. This finale is just boom. Boom! Here was another segment. We got a bunch of dudes. We got we got a bunch of military guys with guns. Next, it's just kung fu and fucking fighting, yep. and then and then there's the mystical powers from the boss. And holy shit, go out yeah, go see the movie. and see Hardcore Henry. And it's it's one of the like honestly, I think I came into the film not wanting to like it, which yeah. is interesting. And I don't I I don't know because I was like ah fucking I hate everything. The reason why I hate everything shaky cam. You do action shaky cam, I instantly hate you. Uh but and this is basically, you know, I thought would be that, but it's not. It's not. It it eventually wins you over, you get over that learning curve, and this is a fresh perspective. Now granted I don't want to see movies do this. You know, I, I don't want this to become no, it's, uh, it's uh, a, a, a subgenre. This should just for fun. Exactly. It's a fun movie. And man. honestly, I enjoyed it so much that I would appreciate a sequel. I love a sequel. Oh, yeah. And so as long as it stays self-contained within the hardcore Henry mm-hmm. universe, then then I'm cool. I'm cool with seeing it again and maybe seeing some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, so getting the DVD or the oh, Blu-ray yeah. I don't see so that. I can for see sure. the commentary and shit. That stuff would be super fascinating. And to go through it again. But honestly, the best way to see this thing is going to be on a big screen. IMAX, preferably, if yeah. you can get it. Um, uh, but it, Joe, did you want to add anything to to this? Did you were you impressed by the uh, like graphics effects? Did you feel it's like yes? It's like gore. It's so much. Oh, gore. okay. <laughs> that did, yeah, that surprised me. That surprised me. Yeah, I mean, it was like a beginning scene. All of a sudden, you see a fucking knife penetrate oh. the neck, come out from the other side. So like, the opening that's credits. That's how we're gonna start off. Amazing. It was great. The opening credits that's then how prepared you off. then. Yeah, yeah. It did. So yeah, right it away you're drop. seeing these these basically do gets hit with a baseball bat. And the brick. They just said the the, the, brick. Sick, the brick. The brick. All of it looks super realistic. Uh, I am really impressed with the graphics. I have no fucking clue how they pulled off half these shots. If they actually it, did get hit. Clearly. No, I bet you some stuntman <laughs> did get hit, Joey. Got That's hurt. the part of stuntman. Yeah. And got fucking hurt. Yeah. Uh, there are obviously clever CGI, but, uh, that's mixed in with the camera angles, but man, it it's so, so clever. You cannot tell. And that might be uh, attributed because of the first person perspective and things are moving I, so fast. It was done so well for what it was that I'm like, just to see that in a movie, I think is worth going to see it. Just this is one of those things where it's like you know the technology that we've achieved today, uh, and this is the result of that movie. This movie yeah. wouldn't have been possible, uh, you know, twenty years ago, thirty years ago in the eighties action, you know, heyday. It, it just a film like this could not be filmed like that. Nope. Uh, it just now it can be and. With a fucking hero, with a GoPro Hero <laughs> Three, and then combined with all the computer technology, uh, uh, amazingly talented choreograph- oh, God, choreography, choreography yeah. like you ain't never believe, and stuntmen who are so fucking talented. Yeah. Really, if you want to boil it down, it's stuntmen the movie. 
and probably <laughs> the most talented best stuntman in the world, the movie. Yeah. Okay? So go out and see Hardcore Henry. I am going to, uh, let's give final verdicts. Dell, what would you give it out of 10? So hard. I'm like right between an 8 and a 9, and I'm like, as like a, a movie, this is going to become, this is one of those movies Don't I think. Don't be a pussy. I'm going to give it a 9 as a cult. It's going to be like a cult classic movie okay. you watch like later on in life. Good. Yeah, it'll good. be a 9. And you'll understand why I said, told Del that in, when you see yeah, the movie. Joe, I'm gonna give don't it be a, a high pussy. Eight. A high, a high 8. High that's eight. being a pussy. You fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm giving this a high fucking 9, nine. with a badass here. Joe, when have you ever seen anything like this? Tell me one movie that's anything like this. Okay, besides the first person the raid. Obviously, no okay, yeah, yeah. No, well, that's movie. a good fucking yeah. point. It's a kick-ass movie. What did you give The Raid? The Raid, I would give, give that like a, a like nine, a nine or a ten. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you like The Raid, this is the kind of shit. Yeah. If you like high action, superb kung fu, good gunplay. If you like video games, go out and see yeah. Hardcore yeah. Henry. <laughs> nine out of ten, <laughs> badass seal of approval. It's well worth your money at the theaters. It really All is. right, guys. Well, we'll see you at, on the next Angry Joe Show.